Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Richard and welcome back to the Weekly Watches video sponsored by MarketSmith. And this week there are fewer setups than last. A lot of stuff moved uh, with the overall market this past week. Uh, so that's kind of normal, but there are definitely a bunch of setups worth watching. And this is my list of kind of 13 of my best ideas. Uh, now there's a little bit of something for everybody here. We've got recent IPOs, early stage base breakouts, um, and also some earnings gap movers, Snap and CMG. Very strong action in the last week, so I'm watching for some consolidation, then a potential entry setup off those strong moves. So uh, once again, a little bit of something for everybody here. And before we get any further in the video, make sure to leave a like down below and let me know down below in the comments one stock you're watching for next week. Uh, so diving in, let's start with DOCS, a recent IPO. And this came up on my radar with um, my screens as well as my interview with Greg Morton. Um, who's a IPO aficionado. So if you haven't watched that just yet, uh, definitely highly recommend it. It'll be linked down below in the description and should be popping up right now. Uh, but overall, looking at the chart, I like how it's making an RS new high before price within its IPO base, stage one base here. The standard base breakout is at 65.42, but ideally it forms some inside days, consolidation days, and then you could buy an early pivot before that standard base breakout. Um, it's got fantastic earnings, sales margins, especially for an IPO, great estimates for 2023. And you've also got 39 funds already invested and two high quality funds, which is quite a lot for such an early IPO. So that is DOCS. Moving on, we've got another recent IPO, uh, FIGS. Once again, very strong earnings, sales margins the past four quarters. Um, not the greatest estimates, although you do have some nice gains in 2022 expected in terms of annual EPS. And you can see that there's already 114 funds and three high quality funds, including Fidelity Contra Fund, which is always a good sign. Uh, looking at the chart, it already has had a really nice move from its IPO base and could be forming a kind of base on base pattern here. Um, and it's declined from about 50.4 to a low of about 36.53. Uh, so I'm looking to see if it kind of tightens up here along the bottom of this base, maybe forms a little bit of a low cheat pattern or just moves at the right side and forms a normal handle. So uh, this might not be actionable just yet, but I am watching it carefully for an entry. So that is FIGS. Next up, we've got KRNT, which broke out of a stage one cup with handle, pulled back to the sell zone, and then had a nice move last week. Um, looking at the earnings sales margins, great numbers right here. Really strong estimates for 2021. 2022 is strong as well of 56%, although the estimate origins for that year are down. Uh, looking at the fund ownership trend, you can see a nice increase and three high quality funds in here as well. Uh, looking at the chart, what I'm looking for is a breakthrough this 128.5 pivot, but ideally, once again, uh, because it already is a little bit short term extended, I would like to see it kind of form some inside days, some consolidation, and then allow that 21 EMA to catch up to price and then have a strong move through a pivot, including the 128.5 pivot. So that's really what I'm looking for. Uh, but this is showing a lot of accumulation. Nice move. I like the look of the space, how it undercut this low and had a nice reaction upwards and definitely worth paying attention to, in my opinion. And next up, we've got LSPD. Um, great sales growth, the most recent four quarters. Estimates aren't superb, but you've got a nice increase in fund ownership and two high quality funds invested in the stock as well. Uh, looking at the chart, it had nice IPO um, advance phase. Now is forming a longer term stage one consolidation. Uh, moved up, tried to break out, had a downside reversal, and fell back with the overall market, uh, but recovered strongly last week on some decent volume. So what I'm looking for, once again, is maybe a little bit of a decline um, back towards that pivot, then a break through that, and potentially a break through a uh, short-term pivot that might form um, early next week, and then a move through 88.63 towards all-time highs. So moving on, we've got S, and you can see it's in the Red Hot Computer Software Security Group. I'm also watching CrowdStrike and ZS within this group, which had nice moves last week. Uh, but overall, very strong sales growth, the most recent four quarters. Not the greatest estimates at this moment, and estimate revisions are down, which is one drawback. Um, and there's no real fun information at this point. Uh, looking at the chart, it's within its IPO base here. The base step is 21%. That's decent. Um, and I want to see it move up the right hand side. You've got some resistance right before 50. So I'm looking for a push through these highs on above average volume or potentially an intraday setup if it does um, include one. So you can see that resistance pretty well here at about 49. So I'm watching this one pretty closely and we'll see what happens next week. Moving on, we've got SI or Silvergate, and this chart is a little bit of a mess up here. 
uh, but it is trying to potentially bottom at around 89 or so against the 200 day moving average. Um, so I like how it's pushed up here on volume back above the 100 level, as well as an increasing 50 day and 21 EMA, but you definitely have some resistance levels, 114.95 and 119 or 118.72 as well. Uh, but I like these move upwards and then the support right off the 21 EMA. And this low right here also lines up with the anchored VWAP if you anchor it right at the highest volume point um, right here. So a little bit of confluence with a few different setups here, but this definitely is very early and I might wait until it pushes up the right hand side towards all time highs a little bit more. Uh, but overall, fantastic earning sales margins, great estimates for this year and the next, great fund ownership increases and two high quality funds in there as well. Um, and one more thing about the stock, um, it is very correlated to Bitcoin and, and the other cryptocurrencies. So this chart really depends on uh, what those crypto um, coins are doing as well. So if Bitcoin starts to move up the right hand side towards all time highs, this stock will likely follow. So moving on, we've got SITM, great earnings, sales and margins for the most recent uh, three quarters, great estimates for this year and the next. Estimate revisions are up as well, that's a great sign. Um, and you've got a nice increase in fund ownership, although a little bit of a dip this most recent quarter. Um, and you can see that there's no high quality funds invested into this stock. Um, overall, I'm watching this 135 pivot and see if it can kind of move through that on volume. And ideally, it would go sideways for a few more days, then move through on volume through this level as well at 134.55. So that is SITM. Moving on, we've got SKYT, definitely a little bit of a faster mover here. So be careful and manage your risk accordingly. Uh, but you've got nice sales growth the most recent two quarters, great estimates for 2022, although estimate revisions are down. Uh, looking at the fund ownership, there's not much information just yet. And looking at the chart, I'm watching for a move up through this pivot on volume as it tries to form another base after its IPO advance phase. Next up, we've got SNOW Snowflake Inc. And you can see very strong sales growth the most recent four quarters. Um, not the greatest estimates, although they are improving. And you've got a lot of great funds in here as well as an increase in funds overall. And as for chart, it's trying to move up the right side of its institutional due diligence phase at this moment and was knocked down with the overall market last week, but there's only one day of above average volume and it has recovered a little bit last week. So I'm watching for it to move up through this level on volume and potentially break out and move towards this 327.41 pivot and retake the 300 level. Uh, so that is Snow. And next up, we've got VZIO, Vizio Holding Corp. And overall, nice growth numbers in the most recent four quarters. Not the greatest estimates for this year or the next and not much fun information just yet. Uh, looking at the chart, it definitely is a little bit choppy, but it is showing some strength here. And I'm watching for a breakout from this stage one consolidation. The standard pivot is 28.8, uh, but there is a clear resistance level at about 27.6 uh, or so. So that could be an early breakout here or potentially an undercut and reclaim of the 21 EMA on market weakness. Uh, so that is VZIO and moving on, we've got ZI, another stock that has been very choppy and looking at the weekly, uh, you can see it's forming a stage one consolidation within its IPO. Um, well, actually within its institutional due diligence phase. And what I'm looking for is a breakout uh, through these levels at around uh, 54, 55 or so. Um, and this has been a very tough one to trade, but maybe if it has a breakout, it can change character a little bit. And overall, great earnings, sales margins, the most recent four quarters, great estimates for this year and the next, nice increase in fund ownership, and four high quality funds invested into the stock as well. And the overall group, the computer software enterprise group, is now ranked 35 out of 197. So it's once again a leading group. So moving on, we've got Snap, and this was an earnings gap up on Friday. And I'm watching this carefully to see if there's an entry point sometime this week or the next. Uh, but this may take some time. But overall, I'm watching for an undercut and reclaim setup, a pullback on low routes of volume to this pivot. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different ways to play uh, this stock. But looking at the fundamentals, great numbers here in terms of earnings, sales, margins, estimate revisions are up, nice increase in fund ownership, and four high quality funds in there as well. And also, one more thing I like to see is this is still technically early stage, it is a stage two consolidation. So lastly, we've got Chipotle, another earnings gap up last week from a longer term base. And this was a stage two base as well. Uh, great numbers in terms of earnings sales margins going back the past few quarters. Um, great estimates for this year and the next. Nice increase in fund ownership and a whole bunch of high quality funds invested as well. So this looks very promising. 
a lot of power on this move as well. Um, so I'm watching for a pullback on low routes of volume and then a reversal off potentially um, a shorter term moving average. Ideally, it would kind of rest here and let the 21 EMA catch up, but that's not necessarily the case. You might have to use an undercut and reclaim of the 10 day simple. Um, so overall, that is my list going into this week. Uh, once again, let me know down below one stock you're watching and also your reasons why. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and leave a like down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys in future videos. Thanks.